Hey, Fred here. So yeah, I have Instagram account. In my stories, sometimes I post behind the scenes or when I'm working something. Uh, and yes, I post this video. And the setup credit goes to Boris Quezada. Amazing stuff he has there. So check him out and let's go straight to the setup. A quick walk through what you need in your scene. Uh, this is the ring. The torus I just hand animated. I put two boxes here, simple boxes. And the tentacles, you're gonna need two objects, okay? The tentacles that's gonna be skinned and animated. So these three guys. And what I did, made a cylinder, and then I turned to edit poly, just extrude, and then apply turbo smooth. And to give the shape of tentacles, just like freeform deform. And that's it. And to make the rig for the tentacles, you're gonna also need a similar shape. Just don't use the same because you're gonna run in problem uh, because of the, the sucking cups when set up in type flow. So basically here is the same thing except for the edit table poly in the tentacles now we're not going to need it right now so i select them i use this is quite nice tentacles it's just a selection so i don't have to click all the time i just select here hide selection and this i can also left click object properties renderable just in case okay and also i can put here uh proxy now let's start the type flow setup. For the tentacles, you're gonna birth skeleton and select those guys. Oh, come here, proxy. And add selected. Hide the object. Don't need to see them anymore because now the type flow create what we need here. And here you select three or more depending on your setup but you see the effect that it creates right so for animation tree is quite good shape because of the nature of our setup then we select cylinder can be low res no problem press tab and physics shape and convex how is okay add physics bind physics bind will connect each cylinder to the next one in a chain so for that we select joint and to ground them we need to select this option here so they will attach to the ground now the next you add physics collision and you select the boxes and the ring add selection and you select the type to mesh so it will be more precise now we're gonna make the tentacles looking for the ring and for that we use surface force and select the ring and here is where you're gonna tweak the value that you need to work better for your scene well, something went wrong, but it's because the shape should be right below, so it understands the sequence. So now you see that's already working. That's very basic setup. But to give some little life, it's nice to use force. and add some curl and here you also check what values do you want to add so they will always be moving you can even turn off surface force so you're not looking for nothing but you see they are just wiggling around so you change those values depend on what you want so next step is to add the tentacles and for that we use press x and 
type particle skin and I select the type flow and I can select here and drag to the next one I can turn off the geometry and see how it behaves that's it I hope you had fun and looking forward to see what we're gonna do with that thank you very much I see you next one